Oh crap, look at that, man. I got the handle installed and, and it works, bro. Now we got the handle mounted on the inside, the door release handle, and the little lock switch. And it came out really nice, so I like it. Now, if you notice, whenever I shut the door, there is a little bit of a rattle. That's the uh, that's those little bars on the inside. Whenever I shut it, they kind of slap against the door panel. All right, now I went ahead and did this off camera because I pretty much just wanted to make sure everything's gonna work and get a game plan on how to do this. So um, we still have the passenger door to do, so I'm gonna go over how to get it done right now. All right guys, this really ain't all that difficult of a process. Um, that little door bar that's on the top, I went ahead and removed that. I removed all the screws so that this thing is just kind of floppy on the top. And uh, from here, what we're gonna do is take the factory door panel. Hopefully if you guys are doing this, you still have these laying around because this is gonna help you a lot. Get it up there. Um, I put some tape. I put some tape on the, the aluminum door panel so that whenever I mark this with a pin, uh, it's gonna stand out a little better. Uh, so yeah, that's, I mean, you guys get the idea. You set the door panel up there and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mark it inside of here. And there's our placement, dude. Uh, that's exactly where we need to cut our hole so that we can mount our little door release and our lock switch. All right guys, now there's the opening that we need basically for our lock and for our latch. Now the latch itself is actually three inches. And now our door lock is an inch and one quarter. All right, now to start off, to cut these out, I need to drill a hole at all four corners of each piece that we need to cut. So. What I need to do is the hole that I'm drilling here for our saw, saw blade to fit inside of, this is a half inch unibit. So I need to mark a line in one quarter of an inch. All right guys, well I have that all marked out now and I'm sure this was probably confusing uh, only because of the fact that I really don't know how to explain it very well. But what I did here is I drew something up to try to help me explain what I'm doing to you. Let's say this black box represents what it is that we need to cut out. This black box is that outside line. That's where we want to cut, okay? Now, this orange line represents that line that I just marked that's marked in a quarter of an inch. This circle here represents our half inch drill bit. Now, if we were to just drill on the corners where of the box that we wanna cut out, we'll put our drill bit in the center of that corner. Now you see our hole would be oversized. It would be outside of the line of where we wanna cut. Now, since our drill bit is a half inch, we wanna cut that in half and mark in one quarter of an inch. You mark in one quarter of an inch, mark a line all the way around, and now it is these points right here where it meets, that's where you wanna drill your hole. So once I drill the hole center of those marks, you put that center on there, you see our half inch hole is gonna line up right up to the outside of where it is we wanna cut. I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense to you. I'm, I'm trying. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best at putting things into words. You know what I'm saying, all the time. But uh, yeah, we have that all marked. So now it's time to drill the holes, get it cut out, and then move on to our next step.
All right, now really quick, what it is I need to do is I need to mount the actual latch. If you guys have gotten to this point, then I'm pretty sure you guys had to take this stuff off. So hopefully you're, you you know how to put it back on. It, you just put it back on basically the same way that you took it off. So um, I'm not gonna really cover how to do that, but yeah, I'm just gonna get it done. All right guys, well there it is all cut out. Uh, I ended up going around the inside with the file just to kind of straighten it out, clean it up. And then uh, I took my DA with the 80 grit sandpaper and I sanded the front and the back just to kind of deburr the edge from the, from the saw. And uh, this one, I will say, did not come out nearly as clean as the driver's side, but I did this one a little bit quicker. And to be honest with you, this isn't perfect, but you're never even gonna notice it, dude. But anyhow, I drilled a hole here and here because that's where this is actually going to mount. We're gonna put the door panel in and then from the back side, I'm gonna have to kind of hold this up and then run the drill bit through because we're gonna drill a hole where that dot is at and that dot. And then we'll end up putting a screw through the door panel and that's what's actually gonna hold this whole mechanism right here to the door. So. Get on it. All right, now it's all on there and it's working, but check this out. Oh, how's that for some back pressure, huh? No, I, the door needs to be adjusted a little bit. Now, this is a little noisy. I'm gonna tell you again, it's those little rods that are on the inside. Whenever you shut the door, they're actually like clattering against the aluminum door panel. When I take this stuff all off to paint it, I'm gonna put something in there where that's hitting the door panel, like, I don't know, like a piece of Velcro or something that's got the adhesive on the back, just so it gets rid of that noise, but. <laughs> you have to really slam that guy. Oh yeah, just loosening it. You saw it relieve all that pressure. better all right guys well there's the driver door and we just completed the passenger side so uh, yeah as far as the door handles and all that that is completely finished so I mean other than whenever I take this I'm gonna take all this stuff back apart because I need to sand it and get it all prepped and yeah, because we're, we're obviously going to be painting this stuff. So um, when I do that, I don't know. I'm going to go to Walmart or maybe some kind of craft store, Michael's, something, and see if I can't find either some kind of felt that I can use a spray adhesive or maybe I can find like larger pieces of like Velcro that already has the adhesive on the back that I could just stick in there on the panels where those rods are kind of banging into it because that... That noise sounds horrible, so um, that's definitely not something I'm gonna want to deal with. You know, you come pulling up to like QT or something. You know, you got people looking at you like, "What? Check this dude out, man! Look at, 
Look at this fly ass Civic. And then you're hopping out and you're like, Doom. like what the fuck was that? <laughs> Anyhow guys, um, these panels on the inside here. Let me turn the camera view around. These panels on the inside, we got the door panels done. We got the little uh, rear quarter panel panels done for our speakers. Now, uh, I mentioned in the last video, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make little pieces for right here. And I've decided that I want to. And a lot of you guys commented, I believe on Instagram and even on uh, YouTube on my last video. Come on, focus. Um, that you you guys want to mind to see little panels right there either. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But I mean, you guys have seen enough of me making templates and cutting aluminum. I mean, it's just repetitive. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera in the house because it keeps freaking overheating and the battery's going dead. So I'm gonna put you guys in the house on the charger. I'm gonna get those panels done and then I'll bring it back out here. And bam! And, okay, god dang, can't see it. Bam! They're done, man, and they look absolutely beautiful. And of course, just like we all knew it would, it just completed the look. And, oh dude, freaking looks amazing. Now, this one right here definitely came out a little lumpy. Like there's a, there's like a bracket in behind there that I think uh, was for the, the original plastic. Like it has a little clip or something, I don't know. But um, on this side, I actually bended it, I bended it. I bent it back. Um, this side I didn't. This was kind of my learning experience. So I will more than likely end up redoing that one. Uh, but yeah, no big deal. But anyhow, there they are. And I think they look freaking amazing, dude. They look freaking sick. I love it. it like, looking at it from here, like, or right, drop my damn phone. Looking at it from here, like it, it's stripped, but it's nice and straight and smooth. Everything's closed off. Like, I don't know, it just gives it like a unique look, dude. I really like it. So, um, I'm stoked on the panels. I can't wait to get them painted. <laughs> Everything we did, we're gonna be taking it apart and taking it off of the car. I know it was a lot of freaking work just to take it all apart, but it's gotta be painted. So we can't paint it on the car, right? You know what I mean? So guys, my daughter thinks that she can one up me on Instagram, okay? She's like, man, you just wait. I'm gonna go back to school right now and I'm gonna blow you away, dad. But you know what? I told him, man, my subscribers, man, they're loyal. They love me, okay? So my Instagram's right here. You guys, go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram. And I even have a, a, a Snapchat and I have a Twitter now. So I'm gonna put those all in the description below. And so follow me on all of them, dude. I have all these social medias now, like holy crap. But anyhow, if you guys like the video, make sure to smash that like button. You know, give it a fist bump, however it is you guys want to do it. I love you, thank you for your support, each and every single one of you, man. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace out.